My name is Imad Al Jabbar. I'm from Jordan originally. I'm from Lebanon. I've been here since 1984. I came to Olympics 1984 Olympics. My name is Jay Homany, and I'm from uh, Boynton Beach, Florida, originally from Bangkok, Thailand. I came to Knoxville, I was 17 years old, that was 28 years ago. I went to college, Mercer University in Georgia. I had to go back home. I came back here in 88, I had uh, $50 in my bucket. My, my English was not that strong yet, and I was 18. I paid $30 for a cab driver to take me to my friends to stay with, and I had $20 in my bucket. I lived in Chicago for a while, and I just worked. I worked my way up, you know, from uh, night porter to dishwasher, to cleaning houses, to uh, work in restaurants here and there as a cook, uh, Binnigan's, Shawnee's, Hooters. That's when I decided, you know, we better do something, I better open my own business, because I was working for uh, Nero Zeros in Champaign, Illinois for a while. Then I decided it's time, you know, to open a business. So I came in with the Nero guy, the old man. That's what he does for a living. He opened up the store, gets money, cash money. It's not a chain, it's not a franchise, it's not. It just, you know, he gets that load of money and he take off. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the owner of Nero Zeros. I like the locals in here. I like the community in here. I lived actually in uh, Loudoun for a while, and it was a great neighborhood. And here now we have a store. I have a store on 17th Street. I mean, it's all one community. We are always, every once, once in a while in a month, we get together as a, as a merchant's owner. And you know, we have meetings and stuff. So, I mean, it's it's good community. I like it. We, we stick together in a way. I got cover seller right beside me. So they were, they're being very nice to me, you know, they let me, use their parking here and there. They did not give me a hard time about it. That's very nice of them. Uh, the bank, same thing. I mean, I, I sometimes it seems all one hand, but we try not to take advantage of those situations. So here, and you're dealing with people in Chicago. Chicago is more busy and more crowded, and you will hardly really find someone who will walk in here and just chat with you. Over here, we get you hospitality. You got your students who like to come and hang out. It's, it's the question is how you like dealing with the students or others. So students, I love dealing with the students. You know, they uh, they take me back 25 years or 26 years. Old, you know what I'm saying? They take me back. I sit down, I chat with them, I talk to them. I see what I'm missing in technology these days. <laughs> I'm taking this to the grave with me, lady. There's a good chance I'll open one in heaven. <laughs> I'm in Knoxville. I, I, I'm training people a little bit with them. And then with me in this place, my friend, he want to go back home to Jordan. And he said, if you take over, because he can't handle it. And that's why I come and take over this place. Before when I opened this store, I was, you know, working with somebody. And then I meet somebody, you know, and then I go around. I've been in Knoxville since 89. Some people have been prejudiced. Because he's thinking I'm from different country and different color. Some people, you know, he go by that. He don't mind. And some people, you know, he's prejudiced. But Stan is a good, small, you know, area. It's good people, friendly. I came for the Olympics and then I never went back because this time was uh, we have war in Lebanon, fighting. That's why I make me stay here because they have too much problem in Lebanon. Um, I came to America when I was about eight years old. Coming from Thailand, you know, Thailand it's more of a developing nation. It's not third world, but it's still developing. It, even to, to today. I had taken some like after school lessons on basic English, but um, you know, when I first came, of course I was shy and I wasn't really 
confident in my language and ability to speak. Probably it's got to be like two, three weeks, I guess, after we've opened. We were short staff, short and just kind of new to the area, so we weren't really expecting a large volume of customer. But then um, we got pretty busy during like the third week, and that was when um, things started getting crazy. It seems that a lot of people here in America are not used to um, foreign food. I mean, there are a lot of Thai and sushi places out there. A lot of people are open about, and especially in a location with like lots of UT students. You know, I think everyone has more like an open mind about trying different things. It's always fun to see like uh, new people every day because even though I work here all the time, it's it's always like. Uh, new people coming in. That's what I want, an adventure. And I got the adventure. See, if you don't enjoy and love what you do, you're not going to get nowhere. It's very simple. I love what I do.